All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is day 511 on my journey to 2000, where yours truly plays a game of chess every day. He puts it on YouTube for folks to watch, and he tracks his progress on chess.com. Normally, I don't talk in the third person, but I started off with yours truly and felt like I needed to continue with that train of thought. Um, before we play today's game, uh, something that I've noticed in the comments is uh, whether or not people actually think that I can get to 2,000. And people actually wondering if I believe that I can get to 2,000. Because they're just not seeing the amount of progress that they expect me to make if I'm taking this seriously. Um, and, I, and I've also seen a request for an ask me anything as there's a lot of questions about me and, and uh, things in the comments that I, I haven't yet answered. But to address the first one, this is a journey to 2000 where I believe I can get there, but I'm not committing to a time frame. So if you want to see somebody dedicate their entire life to chess in an effort to get to 2000 in the shortest amount of time possible, not your guy. If you want to watch somebody who believes that eventually one day free time will be more accessible at different stages of their lives and that 2000 will be achieved at some point in my lifetime, uh, stick around, take a seat, relax, get comfortable. It's not going to happen overnight, but I do believe as does Emma, right? Emma, Emma, she believes that it will happen. Let's see who I'm playing today. Ah, uh, yes. Alvin Y. Hurry. Or Alvin Yuri. Or Alvini Hurry. With the Scandinavian. You don't see many Scandinavi Scandinavian players here. I'm just going to go out with. Develop my other knight. And let's see. Yeah, let's just continue with normal development. but they can easily come in. So let's... <clears throat> castle. And develop. This forks. So after this and this, this. So if I go here, then they'd have to go here. Connect the rooks, open file. <clears throat> Last couple of games have made some blunders, especially because I'm not thinking about what my opponent's gonna do on their next move. And that is a habit that I need to get into. Probably, probably the most important part I need to work on right now.
so they're preventing that knight move. same here. Alvin Yuri is uh, rated 1421 out of the Philippines. through these crazy lines if I don't really have to take unless there's a clear advantage. Defend this square, or they could retreat back, or come here. If they retreat back, I take double of the pawns, or to exchange a bishop for a knight, which is good. I've got these diagonals here working for me, so I think I might open up the board at that point. Take here, see if I can't get the open file. If they take with the queen. I 
got the open file now, so do they. So, tick, tick. I think I'm just going to retreat. Or pin. Let's pin. If I pin here, they can come in and take. Which is check. So then this. Take, and they take back. Oh, I can just go here now. Take, take. If I go here, they take, and they take back. And they take. Which is not good. So now they, they take back my, my this rook. Okay, they're going to take this bishop. I'm 
going to go here, attack this, because there's a dis there's a pawn right behind it. If they take here, take back, they're going to have to defend either here or here. Be aware of forks. I have to think the game is even at this point. I don't see anybody having a clear advantage one way or the other. I think I might block because if I take here and they come in with check and I go here then they can bring their rook down which makes it kind of hard so let's see what this does. here get the open file and then do some moves like this check with winning the pawn. They could go here, here now. Yeah. But 
this, this, take. This allows me to, after take, take, ah, but then they got take, and then I can do this. Hmm, I didn't see that though. Let's see, if they move their knight, I can go here. Hoping for a little, uh, if they take this and I got this fork, I don't think they'll take that though. They might come here. Yeah. They go up, I got the same fork. They're probably on the lookout for those forks now. Check. Not looking good, folks.
this guy check me. Good game. Alvin Wiery. Let's check out the analysis here. Or the review. Uh, I played with 71% accuracy. I had one blunder, three misses, and four mistakes. Played as if I was 1250 rated. So not my finest moment. Did look like I had several chances to win this thing, so I'll be looking for those. Um, but in the end, my opponent hung with it, and uh, Alvin, great game. Let's go through it. Look at the Scandinavian here. Um, and after this castle, which was a mistake, I did not play the best move. I missed an opportunity here. The other move I was thinking was knight b5 to attack the queen and this pawn. So the, the move that would be best to defend both of them is here. Or here. But if I were to go there, that is a mistake. So I'm glad I didn't move it. Um, let's see. I could get rid of this bishop. I could. Push the pawn. That's a blunder. That's a blunder. Oh, knight. Right here, yeah, threatening this, which I saw that pattern later in the game, but it was a little bit too late. Um, it was still there after that move. And then by this time, they had plenty of ways to defend against it. If I had played it sooner, Let's see, after they castle, if they had played it sooner. Um, only way to defend is to retreat here. And then I could attack the queen. Queen goes b6 to defend this pawn. I defend the knight. There looks like either attacking the queen here. Or getting my, my bishop into the game here, threatening that fork. Those were the best ways to play. But I didn't see it until it was too late. And when they retreat back, they had um, taking the bishop was was a good move. So here I had a slight advantage, but um, the bishop pair was not enough to to do it. It gave me some more chances here. This was a mistake, which I played a good move. A better move would have been to just retreat back, getting the open file. But after this best move and this mistake, wait. Rook to d3 was a mistake. In my head, I'm thinking, okay, if I get it up and lift it over. Taking was ide ideal because after recaptures, then I could come in here. Hmm. They're saying rook, uh, knight d1. Is the best move here. Maybe because they don't want to double up the pawns. Um, I 
I might have gone here because I'm thinking, well, if I take, then I've got this. But they would just recapture it and, and be at material. Then I'd fork and they'd check to get out of it and I'd be in a bad spot. Um, yeah, so taking the rook would have been better. But then after this blunder, this is where I, oh, geez, I could have just taken. Wait, that would have been a miss too. Would taking with the pawn be better? No, that's a miss as well. Okay, so they push this pawn. They're trying to break this up. I take... I take the knight, which is the best move. Okay. So then they take back, and then I recapture with the pawn instead of taking with check. No. I was thinking about taking this first and then taking the, the, the rook, but they could have done this and gone back to defend. So I didn't. Um, take, they take, and then I've got to move my knight. Why isn't capturing the best move? Because they've got this. Oh, take the knight first. And then if they move this, let's say they move it back here. Then I can take the, that bishop. Got it. Take here, threaten this bishop. And if they take, I take back winning position. Just the, the, intermedi the intermediate move, the in-between move, intermezzo, is something that uh, I should have done there. It would have uh, allowed me to have a better position. Um, but after that, the game was even up until this mistake. And this mistake allowed for this rook to come in, which I did see happening after the fact but um, a better move here taking no forking the bishop and the knight if they take there then I have this attacking both and so there's no way to defend this. So they wouldn't take, they would probably take here, threatening this, and then I would take the bishop. All right. And here it says it's an even game, but I f would feel good about, oh wait, it's not even because they take the, the rook or the bishop. So here they take, and now it's, it's pretty even. Well, there you have it folks, day 511 in the books. Um, I'm below 1400 again. This is definitely where I'm plateauing now. Uh, until next time.